Welcome back. It's Beth. We're ready to look at our next video, and this time we're going to look at the ebook. Now we're going to go over and, and take a peek at this in Connect Ed. I've already opened in grade one, and I'm going to go ahead and just select a chapter. And of course, in your drop down menu, you see all of your choices, so I can choose any of my lessons here. Those drop down menus are a great resource for you, so be sure to use those. It's such a quick way to get into your lessons and really begin to use it, not just as a planning tool, but for instruction. Now again, you see your carousel over here and all of the resources and tools you can use, but I want you to look at this one here. Open ebook, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And when we do that, we immediately see the lesson that you're working on. Uh, this is the, the book. This is the child's interactive book. Uh, that they each have. Notice on the left you have this table of contents, so I can certainly switch uh, in between my, my chapters and my grade level. If you look up here at these wonderful icons, go immediately to your glossary by clicking here. I have the answers on. I can simply switch them off. I can go to double pane, which lets me see, of course, two pages at a time. And of course, I can use these on my projector, an interactive whiteboard, whatever I, I have in my classroom. And of course, look at the bottom. Are you, are you seeing what my cursor is doing? Look at that. If there is a tool that you'll want to use on these pages, they are available and live for you. Simply by clicking, I can go to Gameplay. I can go to More, which would of course be Enrichment or Reteaching or any of those things that I have in my resource tab. Worksheets that complement this lesson. E-Help. Oh, that's terrific. You know what that does? That takes you to your parents. E-Help is going to let me communicate with parents on what they could use from home to complement this lesson and really help students with their homework. And, of course, there are the E-Tools. We've seen those and the virtual manips. Now, I'm going to go ahead and see the pages here by clicking this button right here, you can see uh, that I've moved to the next two pages, and I can click on Writing Tools, here's my pen, and I can write any of the answers. I can have students come to the board and do this. So not only is your ebook going to give students the opportunity to be able to, to use that book in an interactive way. It's a way for you to use it with instruction. Now, let's say we want to focus on just a portion of the page. I want to talk to the students about what they're going to do on their own. Did you see me click on the magnifier? Look, it went huge. Can you imagine this up there on that board so that students can see it you know, in a large, you know, isolated way, just looking at just a few items? And of course, I can click on that and it will take it back to 100%. Or again, I can go larger or smaller. Just a great teaching tool, instructional technique for you to use. Uh, again, I mentioned that eHelp. Let's go ahead and click on that. And it will immediately take me to the resource. And it suggests from home that parents could use the two colored counters or they could look at a lesson animation. So it's as if they're hearing you all over again from home, the students, or parents can see what you did in the classroom. So that's what your ebook will do. So many ways to access it. If you remember, you can access it from point of use on the launch page. You can access it from inside of a lesson. Now, what's your task following this short time together? I'd like for you to go into the ebook this week and use it with your students uh, using the lesson that you're currently on with regard to your pacing. Thank you.